I saved my allowance when I was seven to buy a Phil Collins record. That was my <laughs> first record. I'm, I'm like the monkey that people are like, hey, hey monkey, go dance. And I'm like, okay. 15 years old, uh, my first show I got kicked in the head by a combat boot. That was my initiation into the, into the world of punk and I immediately was like, yeah, this is for me. Adam would set up his drums and then all of a sudden put on this little Viking helmet with these braids and he had a whistle around his neck that he used to wear. And all of us were just mortified, like, what is going on here? And uh, he started using the whistle for, like, breakdown parts and blast beats. And he was in a band called Aftershock. I was in a band called Corinne. I was wicked fat. He was, he was a pretty big guy, and he played a, what was it, a, a, a Strat, right? Yeah, American Strat. So can strat. imagine, like, a big dude with blonde spiky hair and a Strat, just, like, stomping on the ground. Like, Poor fashion choices yeah. as well. Stop the best it. part about the whistle, though, is when I, I try to, put, like, blow in it during blast beats. But really fast sections, and I'd like start running out of breath. Like, hey, 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 hey. Again, confused people in the audience, like what? Is but he just looked really angry. And I remember we invited his band down for a, a hardcore matinee on a, on a Sunday, and I remember watching Aftershock and just being like, just everyone was cool, but it was like that one guy. I was like, who is this guy? He's crazy. And then he gets off stage. He's like, hey, dude, I'm Adam D. What's up? I don't use the D. What, I, I say Adam. Let's just, they know you as Adam D. So I'm the I'm Adam D. Just yeah. knock my beer over. <laughs> Artie fell. See, that's our relationship. That's a metaphor for our relationship, folks. I know. Right? Wow. <laughs> he wants to party. I'm like, nope. <laughs> oh. Sorry, buddy. So, so mad. Moment of silence. So mad. Spill. And then I bailed. Yep. And yep, we put all of our faith into you. <laughs> We do a tremendous U.S. tour, and things are going well, and then, peace! And he quit through email. He quit through email. There's a story to it all. <laughs> yes. Can you guys do me a favor and just boo him for yeah, quitting you through, can do via it. email? It's like breaking up with your girlfriend via email. Come on. Yeah, I think our, our early working relationship wasn't so great because of me that I had to work on, and thankfully I sorted it out through the years just doing other bands. Uh, when I did the band Seamless, it was a totally different style of music, just blues rock. I knew that stuff really well. I knew that doing that with my voice wouldn't really tear at it. So it kind of was liberating for me to just do a completely different style of music. I'm that guy, if we put out a new record, I don't want to play too much from it because it's the new record and I feel like when you go to a show, you want to hear all the songs that you know and you want to dance to or sing along to. Got to ease people into the new yeah, record. Yeah, yeah. I worked a day job till last year, so there's that. He had to he had to earn a spot. Now he was a, on a long list of tryouts. Other people did pretty good too. Um, so for me, I actually initially was like, I don't think I could do that. Again, going back to singing somebody else's song, so I struggled with that. So initially, I was unsure. So the moment I just told them, like, I don't know if I could sing Howard's song, it was like, all right, next we're gonna have tryouts. Um, I would say Arms of Sorrow is the first song that really sort of hit me, and I could relate to dealing with depression in my life and anxiety and stuff. And I think that was sort of the, the first spark and then the rest of it, well, I'm gonna I quit. <laughs> Surprise. I'm out. Via, via email, nonetheless. Oh yeah, I'm gonna email you after this. <laughs> Do it right now. Right next to me with your phone and I'll check my email and we won't talk. I just wanna say real quick um, to anybody who uh, has supported this band and myself and welcoming me back, thank you so much. I have just gratitude in my heart for everybody. You suck. Who supports me. The Odd Couple. You can be funny, but I'm being very serious. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, every, time we're, every time we're in England, I just feel so at home. I, we have some of our best shows here. And our fans are rules, so it's great. Awesome Thanks. time here. Thanks, guys. Thanks Cheers. very much. Good night, everyone. Thank you for coming along this evening.